Welcome back to the channel, guys. Today, we're gonna to give you some news on the 59 Impala, some bad news, and we're gonna give you guys some really good news, life-changing news for this shop. Stay tuned, you're not gonna to wanna to miss it. All right, so everybody has seen clips and tips and things that we were gonna talk about with the 59 Impala. Unfortunately, the car is no longer in the shop for reasons outside of me. That is the bad news. But the good news is, today we're gonna to talk about some of the life-changing things that I have had. Um, this last weekend, a couple days ago, I actually put in my notice to leave my railroad full-time job. Yes, this is not my full-time job, but in May 1st, it will become my full-time job. And what we wanna show you guys is what goes into building an entire show car, start to finish, with a car that technically was already a show car at one time. Today, we're gonna to go through a list of things that we have come up with on what this channel is going to bring you to learn on your project. This car is a little bit more rare than your average Impala. It is actually a flat top 61 instead of a bubble top. They actually, from what I'm told, only have somewhere in the ballpark of 500 of them made. So we're gonna go through and we're gonna be stripping this car all the way to ground zero. What's in there right now is the car is, have a, a 383 Stroker Chevrolet, small block. I'm unsure of the transmission. It does have a fully restored factory frame all on air ride with a Curry rear end. Although that is cool, we are actually going to be ditching every bit of that. And the only thing that we're technically going to keep is the body shell, and which will be for sale. If anybody wants to email me, check out the description. We do have a lot of information on some of the products that we're gonna be using, tools. And if you guys wanna contact us, maybe you need a class. But uh, it's gonna be wild. This thing's gonna get a full custom interior. We have already purchased a Maruzi special, which is gonna be a thousand horsepower supercharged LS that you can daily drive on pump gas with a Rancho driveline engineering automatic 4L80 transmission that will be able to handle that kind of horsepower back to a uh, coilover suspension from Roadster Shop. It is gonna be their ride line, fully TIG welded, beautiful chassis, and it's gonna not be on air ride, it'll be on the coilover so you get that race feel, but yet a comfort if you wanna go drive cross country, you will be able to, even though it's going to be a show car. The cool thing about that is it converts all of the suspension from your typical air ride to a C7 Corvette with even independent rear suspension. Now that's great for the owner and all, but what makes this video good for you? Today, we're gonna to talk about all of the videos that we're going to be making on how you in your garage can make a show car quality finish and a full build. We're not just gonna be talking about metal work and body work. We're gonna be covering everything from metal finishing. And what is metal finishing? Metal finishing is hammer and dolly work all the way to where you have a mirror finish on a panel that is already existing. Maybe it's dented or damaged or it was hit. We're gonna discuss everything on how to move metal. What is metal? How does it expand? How does it contract? Um, how does a shrinking disc work? torching, all of the pros and cons of all of those processes. And then we're gonna have a video on metal shaping. Metal shaping is where we are taking sheet metal from a flat sheet and we are going to create a fully customized engine bay in this car to look seamless and clean and show everything from planishing hammers and bead rollers and English wheels and all of those processes to be able to create those shapes. Next, we will be putting the whole car together as a whole on the new chassis, and we will be setting all of the gaps, going through and fine tuning every gap from the hood, doors, and the trunk to make sure everything is the exact same gap from front to back. That will include tips and tricks on both TIG welding, MIG welding, why those are good, why those are bad, all of the pros and cons, and body dropping the car. Body dropping the car is going to be where we take the body and we actually channel the body's floor to set over this new Roadster Shop chassis. An original Impala car has an X-frame that's very weak and when you put a lot of horsepower to them, they will twist. This chassis has frame rails that are parallel and we will actually be channeling the car 
and tubbing it to be able to set it over the chassis and fit wheels, tires, and everything start to finish. We will be even showing tutorials on all the tools and equipment that we use to make custom stainless brake lines and flaring all the different fittings and how that rolls through and to look nice and clean. Although we have done videos on how to body work and stuff like that for beginners, we will be showing a very more in-depth, how do you body work a car from start to finish? How do we acid wash? How do we epoxy prime? How do we do all the body work front to back? How do we primer? How do we set up the guns for primer? How do we set up the guns for painting? And after we show how to get a seamless finish with the color of the car, maybe you're doing metallics, maybe you're doing pearls, maybe you're doing candies. We're gonna cover and talk about every single thing that you need to be taking into consideration for this project in the painting and then even going to polishing, polishing the car. There's a whole episode we're gonna do just on polishing, how you sand it, how you guide coat even the paint and then polish everything to see not any scratches but that nice clean show finish. Once you're done with paint and polish, we're gonna be blowing the car while well, the car will actually already be apart. However, when you have already painted the car and then you've polished it, what are the tips and tricks gonna be that we be able to put the car back together in the original spot that we started with to make sure you have that seamless finish? How are we not chipping paint? The greases that we use, the panel alignment, how are we getting the hinges in the same spot? You ever try to get a car put back together and you're constantly trying to move a finished panel and it's chipping and it's a nightmare. So we're gonna go through all the details to show you guys how to get those hurdles under your own project to help you. We are gonna be doing these videos in real time and we're gonna to try to provide you guys with about a video a week showing all of these things. And maybe it might not be this video because this is gonna be a two year process, but maybe we're gonna be doing a tutorial on a different kind of car. So stay tuned, please like and, and subscribe to our channel. It helps us help you with your project. Remember, share what you know, continue to learn. I'm Travis, we'll catch you next time.